Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. I know what you're thinking. Sam, if this is another bobble video, I am unsubbing and leaving. Well, get ready to stick around, bitch, because this is not a bobble video. <laughs> instead, instead what it is, is it's going to be a Charybdis video, and I'm going to be using Griffin Wing. And you might be thinking, why Charybdis? Well... Oh, that's a bad matchup. The reason is because when Charybdis uses her one, it actually increases projectile speed and it makes it bigger. So my thought process is if I go Griffin wing and I have faster uh, projectile speed already in my one, then don't I just like win? Like, like, like realistically, what's he going to do to me? Because he can't get close to me. I mean, that being said, I guess, technically speaking, he could just tank it. Because I'm not going to be doing that much damage. But also, I have a butthole. That, I mean, most people do. But in game, my butthole saves me from damage. We see all within our water. I've never seen a nemesis go for a mana pot. I'm so bad at games, dude. Um... Do I win that trade? Because you have to tank minions. And then I can heal off this. And I have full mannequin stacks in this too. Oh yeah, no, I won that trade hard, my guy. I won that trade so hard. Perfect. So we got red buff. <clears throat> Gonna grab this blue here. I wonder, is it going to be really hard for me to do anything this game because of the fact that he his shield is like OP? I have a feeling it might be a bit harder than normal. But I don't think it'll be impossible. He is still level 4, by the way. I'm Garbanzo Beans. All right. My ult is down. You can't kill me. I don't know who you think you are or what you think you're about to do to me. But you causing me pain isn't exactly something that happens in this scenario. In case you're wondering why I'm pushing tower so hard, it's because uh, if he gets level 20, I lose. So, <laughs> so I'm trying to make it so he doesn't get level 20 ever. I'm still 300 gold away from my my finished trans. I just got to get this one wave. And also, does my three cleanse stuff? I don't know. I'm immune to damage. I should be okay if he, like, tries to kill me. I hope he doesn't because that'd be kind of mean. But then again, I did try to kill him, so it makes sense. I'm just trying to clear this wave and back. Can we just agree? be homies this once I don't think he agreed oh my god all right I got my trans boys let's go um are you going golden blade 
I don't want to fight against Golden Blade unless I finish my stacks, or at least get some stacks, I guess. Golden Blade is definitely a bigger immediate power spike. Actually, I don't know. That shit chunked. Oh, I don't like my positioning here. Uh, you don't win this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy crap. Well, that was close. That was, that was, <laughs> that was way too close. Holy shit, dude. If I hit my alt, it wouldn't have been close at all, but I'm fighting a nemesis who can circle around me at, at will. Oh my God. That was intense. That was very, very intense. All right. You do your blue buff. Am I chilling here? I don't think he can dive me. He doesn't have ult. Yeah, I'd rather you not try to hurt me either. I guess he could go bull demon here. That would kind of suck. But I don't know. I mean, what it? Because he, he's not winning fights. Not yet. By the way, I'm going Griff, Griffin Wing second item. Uh, The reason is because... Well, honestly, there's no reasoning. I just want to. I feel like the earlier you buy Griffin Wing, the less you feel the deg the negative downside. I mean, negative downside is redundant. I don't know why I said that. The negative of the item. So, I'm just going trans straight into Griffin Wing. In the hopes that I never feel the negative. My damage is pretty nutso mode right now, though. I will admit. Like, we just ate through his shield and still beat his Tukus. I don't think you understand that you are not scary to me right now. I mean, I'm probably not that scared to you either, to be fair, but at least I do damage. Like, that Phoenix just got half taken already. That's, that's absurd. The fact that I just took a Phoenix, like, half of a Phoenix while he was running back from Fountain. I still have minions here. I could actually take Phoenix here, I think. Okay, I lied completely. I thought that they would take two tower shots each and they only took one, but I forgot that we're like seven minutes into the game and I'm hitting a Phoenix. I know I said my goal is to end the game fast, but I didn't mean this fast. <laughs> All right, Griffin Wing acquired. Oh, he's getting red buff. That I do not like. I'm excited to see how fast my freaking autos are now. Look at this. Holy shit. I have instant autos. And also, I really am not feeling the downside right now, like I had hoped. The whole reason for me getting Griffin Wing this early was so I didn't feel the downside, and I actually think that it worked. I don't feel like I'm doing less, less damage than I was before. Dude, my autos are like instant, though. Holy crap. 
granted, I haven't played around with this item as much as I've wanted to. But it feels good, dude. What the heck, man? Bonk. Oh, the cooldowns, man. Um, I'm not able to get that Phoenix, am I? Whoa, that minion went flying. I am grabbing a cooldown thing here, and I will go sprint so that... I might be able to run away. I don't think I can get his Phoenix off that, though, because I'd have to win a fight right now, and I don't know if I can. With me not having alt. Um... I don't know, maybe I can. I absolutely cannot. I feel like I never have enough damage. Like, I've been at his Phoenix since the seven minute mark. And it's not like I'm losing the fights that bad. But I don't feel like I'm actually winning them that hard either. You know what I mean? Like, I'm forcing him back, but I'm not getting anything off of it. Hmm. I think he just did the XP camp. I can't keep up with him, dude. Golden Blade plus serrated. Is Golden Blade nerfed yet? It did get nerfed. From 10% down to 3%. But I mean, he's got 14% extra movement speed. From his, uh, from his serrated and his golden blade. So I really need to... Do something here. Oh, I thought he was going to go back in, man. All right, he is backing, and I do have a minion wave right here, so I'm going to get Phoenix, hopefully, and then just dip. Oh, I almost got him. I almost got him. I didn't actually... Uh... Like, I couldn't actually run from him. I realized after I said that, because even with Sprint, he's got, you know, 17% extra movement speed over me, but... Maybe an Aussie will help, because he has no anti-heal. I'm thinking also a Heavy Executioner here. At some point. Might be nice. He's got to deal with Fire Minions now, and as Nemesis, it is never fun dealing with Fire Minions. Even though you have Golden Blade and you have your two and everything like that, like, it's hard to deal with Fire Minions. 
I don't know. I like the Griffin Wing a lot on Charybdis. Like, I, I feel like my autos really just are that much better. It is definitely, like, what is it called? Uh, like a clutch item? Is that what it's called? Well, an item that you don't ever need. And you only get it to help you because you're worse at the game than somebody who lands all the Charybdis autos already. So it's not something necessary at all. But it doesn't make it any less fun. Like, This is exactly what I meant, by the way. Like, he's got to deal with fire minions, and I got to do basically nothing to clear wave. Mm. I had no relics. He had both relics. And I did alt as alt. That was probably a mistake. I don't know. Also, I used my one and it was bouncing off the Phoenix instead of hitting him. I think if I didn't use my one there, I probably won the fight. Oh, he sold whatever item he was going. And he built Toxic Blade. That's interesting. That is interesting. I don't know. I wonder if my minions are going to need this Phoenix. No, my minions are just on a Titan right now. But I will get your Phoenix. Maybe. By the way, I didn't spend my gold because I really want upgraded mannequins. So I get upgraded mannequins. I'll grab this. He might be able to win a fight here. But I don't know, because I'm very close to my tower, so. Did he run all the way back? I think he ran all the way back. He loses Phoenix here. I wish I could go Frostbound. That'd be insane. Alright. He will never catch me, so he goes back. I got the Phoenix, so I am vibing. My attack speed is pretty high. It's 2.07. So I'm thinking instead of going into Heavy Executioner, which was a, it was what I was going to go into, I think I'm just going to grab a Kins. I know Kins isn't as good on other... or on Charybdis as it is on other characters, but I think it's still not bad. Like, because you're, you're going to have, what, 2,500 HP?
Hmm. You just ran all the way back again. All right. I'm not going to stay and get greedy for that. What I am going to do is back and start upgrading my relics. Oh, are you going to go heavy XE? What's your attack speed? It's 2.13. Heavy XE would not feel good on you. You're sacking a lot of attack speed for that. This Rud Belf, however, is going to feel real good on me. He did... Oh, no. He went Ferocious. Okay. I was going to say, if he went Heavy, that's probably not a great play. Now, this guy loves circling around, so I'm just going to do this. Oh, damn. That was close. That was close. Oh my god, dude. My damage is insane. He can't even get close to me. Oh man. Dude, I don't know if... I mean, that game was super close, by the way. That was a very good game. I don't know if Griffin Wing was helping me or hurting me that game. I will say it made it extremely easy to land my autos as Charybdis, which I'm notoriously horrible at. So I probably will be building it on Charybdis more often. But I think if you're a good Charybdis player, then you don't need it. I think that's the difference. Like, I know I'm garbage with this character. So I need to stifle my <laughs> my progress in learning her and just go Griffin Wing and and be chilling. You know? But that I mean that's that. I I I think Griffin Wing is more or less preference. I would say if you're a a, a good Charybdis player or a good, you know, whatever player you get Griffin Wing on, then uh then don't buy it. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.